Welcome everybody, day two, letting go. Letting go, what does that mean for you? What does letting go mean for any of us? For me, letting go means no longer focusing on the things that I want to change. No longer focusing on what's going wrong. No longer swimming upstream, so to speak. Because the more I focus on those things, the more that those things are going to come into my life. Don't you find that? We say, I want to start a new diet because I don't want to look this way anymore. Or I want to start a meditation practice because I don't want to be stressed anymore. Or I want to um, start an exercise program so uh, I, I, I don't uh, feel this way when I look at myself in the mirror, right? It's filled with the, the inverse, the negative aspect of everything we want to do. Now, what do we do? How do we flip that? Well, long over a decade ago when I began this journey, I told myself, because that was my mindset, was I'm doing these things because I don't want to feel, experience, or um, do these things anymore, right? Or feel this way anymore. And it became abundant and abundantly clear when nothing was changing, even though I was doing the right things, my mind, my conscious mind, was still focused on the on what I didn't want. And so of course, law of attraction says, that's, you're gonna get more of that. So I thought to myself, I said, well, if I can think these thoughts and I can do the action, because I know I can do the action. I know I can work really hard, which as we discovered yesterday, when you're doing what you love, it's effortless. Um, but what if I, if I can think these thoughts, then I must be able to think the opposite. I must be able to feel the opposite while doing these actions. Um, the conscious mind is a very interesting, interesting thing. We don't even know how the mind works completely fully. Scientists, right? The full capacity of what this up here is capable of, let alone the heart, the energetic heart space, which um, if you were in yesterday's meditation, 5,000 times more intelligent than the brain, the actual the heart, which I find the intelligence, heart intelligence is a real thing. So in letting go, the meditation we're going to do today, um, I wanted to do, uh, we're going to do some affirmations, some affirmations that deal with the subconscious. Now, the conscious mind, our conscious minds, relay messages, just taking in information all day, all day, all day, all day. We have over 70,000 thoughts every single day. And I'm curious, and I hope this piques your curiosity, of those 70,000 plus or minus thoughts, how many of those are positive? How many of those are geared towards my life unfolds perfectly no matter what? Because all of those thoughts get loaded down into the subconscious mind. I say down, but they get loaded into the subconscious and those become beliefs and those beliefs become, this is, must be who I am without ever questioning it, right? Our mind doesn't have the capability to actually take in all those 70,000 thoughts happening all at once right it just takes the most pressing thoughts the most concerning the most alarming thoughts and it stores those right but it doesn't mean that the other thoughts are not being registered so subconscious is very very aware and clear on it so our affirmations today in this meditation are going to be about the subconscious mind how you have a dialogue and an open relationship with your subconscious through your conscious mind based on what you choose to think based on what you choose to input into your brain every single day. And this is a choice. This is where we have control of what goes in and what comes out, right? So without further ado, the subconscious mind power affirmations, very simple. I'm gonna re repeat an affirmation twice initially, and then you'll repeat it either in your mind or out loud. I would recommend out loud because now you've got the vibration of the vocal cords, you have the vibration actual vibrations going out into the universe, going out into the ether, right? Going out into this energetic web that connects us all, which is why I can sit here, communicate with you and feel you, even though you're not sitting across from me, okay? Even though our eyes are gonna be closed down and I can imagine what that's like and the brain won't know the difference between 
eyes open or closed, what's going on? Are you in front of me or are you not? You are. For me, right now, you are. Okay, so we're in this together. Without further ado, comfortable seat. If you want to lay down for this, lay down. Remember, the position in which you put your body is entirely up to you. I just want you to relax. I want you to get comfortable. The quickest pathway to the subconscious is through comfortable physical body. You don't have to struggle with the pose. So once you're there, once you get there, relax. Get all the movement out. Close the eyes down. Take a few deeper inhales and exhales. And once you finally settle in, right, that movement will become less and less and less and less and less and less. You start to relax all the muscles of your face, the forehead, right, the muscles around the eyes, the lower jaw, sometimes even sticking the tongue out. That can help. Like most practices that we're engaging in here, that simple action there of just relaxing the face, that acts like a wave. It goes down the whole body, the neck, arms, hands, calm and relaxed. Your chest, your abdominals, flash of awareness going to these places and you're directing you are now in control hey areas we're relaxing yeah but hold on i want to stay tight no you're in control we'll get to whatever you want to get to later but for now we're relaxing we're finding a calm state easy with your breathing in and out Let it keep going down into your hips, your inner thighs, your tops of the thighs, the outer thighs, backs of the legs, calves, outer shins, and all the way down to your feet. Calm and relaxed. your mind happens to be, you bring it back. You let it travel from wherever you are to the center of the chest. We're going to head to that energetic heart space. And either with your mind's eye or your actual physical hand, place it. Place it either on or across the center of your chest. Now nothing else exists, just your hand, just your focus, and this area right here. When we do this and breathe into this space, nothing else exists. Remember, you're opening up a pathway between your heart, the intelligence, the infinite intelligence of your heart, and your mind. Breathe into your hand, breathe into the center of the chest. No sense of time, no sense of space, no sense of right, no sense of wrong. There's infinite possibility here. A few more breaths. Now that we're in this calm physical and mental state, we're going to jump into these affirmations. Now again, I will repeat them initially twice, and then in the pause after, that gives you space to repeat them again, either in your mind or out loud, you decide what that is. All right? Here we go. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, exhale all the air out of your body. Take a deep breath in. 
calm and relaxed as you exhale. And here we go. My subconscious mind is my partner in success. 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 The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. The more I contemplate my subconscious, the more I understand how to work with it. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. With repetition, I give my subconscious very clear instructions. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me.
my subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious is connected to the web of all reality. All things are possible for me. My subconscious works for me day and night. 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 I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. I choose empowering beliefs and become what I believe. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. My subconscious guides me in all areas of my life. I am harnessing the powers of my subconscious and achieving great success. I am harnessing the powers of my subconscious and achieving great success.
I am harnessing the power of my subconscious and achieving great success. I am harnessing the power of my subconscious and achieving great success. I am harnessing the power of my subconscious and achieving great success. I am harnessing the power of my subconscious and achieving great success. I am harnessing the power of my subconscious and achieving great success. Now just allow the, all of those affirmations to seep down into the subconscious. Just breathe naturally from where you are right here. Observe everything and all things. Notice your body in space, the pace of your breathing, the heart against your hand, the feet against the floor, your back against the couch, whatever it is. Just notice. Maybe it's thoughts, images moving through your mind. Notice what they are. Bringing that now attention back to your heart, where your hand is, or your focus. And in this last bit, it's just going to be a call and response, a rapid fire of affirmations dealing with self-love. And I'd like to finish this off here because of its potency and its power. So it's going to be something like I say, you say, I say, you say, just rapid fire. And the words today, right now, are going to be, I love myself, okay? and a heart leading from this energetic space. Here we go. Exhale all the air. Take a deep breath in. Here we go. I love myself. 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 Take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. Just repeat in your mind or out loud. I love myself. I love myself. this moment thanking yourself for being right here all the gratitude and all the love to you for being right here taking this time to do something to be something meaningful inspiring and motivating knowing you have a choice every single day so we'll seal this this morning or this afternoon, this evening, whenever you're listening, with a deep breath in through the nose. Let it go out through the mouth. Release your hand when you're ready. Open your eyes only when you're ready. Move around when you're ready. Maybe rub your face. But you did it. Congratulations. Day two, letting go letting go of the need to control anything and just allowing life to unfold beautifully in front of you. So thank you so much for being here. And I'm very excited to see you tomorrow. But for now, I'm bowing in thanks to you. All the love. I'll see you tomorrow.